couldn't do it. Could you? Could you? As you go on with your happy, joyful lives, I know you couldn't survive. None of you can. I know it. Whatever! Mm. For those of you who, who don't know, I agreed to be in this competition. The point of the contest was to see how long me and two other contestants could last in the van. I thought being blind would give me an advantage, but in the end it just caused trouble. I mean, Come on, I'm blind. I don't even know where the camera is right now. They told me I was looking straight at it, but you can't trust those media people. For all I know, I could be looking directly into a wall right now. When I first heard the two competitors, I was almost glad to be blind. The first one sounded like he was like hyperactive or something, and the second one seemed like he had a problem with death or Satan or something. When they told me I'd be in the competition, I knew I would win. You know why? Because I have the power. The power of the devil. My first Red Bull of the day. People tell me I'm hyperactive, and I think I have ADHD, so, and people don't want to sit around in person with ADHD, so. I thought I'd have a good chance of this, because I usually tend to drive people insane fairly quick. And then we started talking about flashbacks, which reminds me of the time when I finished a puzzle, even though I'm blind. There's one time where I saw the devil. There's this one time I was on the computer. Get on my face! Get on my face! You're so gay! Leave! So I guess that kid, Max, was just too depressed to hang out, so then he left. I thought I had it won until those happy little spirited boys showed up.
Then after the flashbacks, that one kid, Jeffrey or something, started banging his head on the door. After 14 Red Bulls, I got really bored, so I had to leave the car. Anyway, that kid was really annoying. I guess that kid, Jeffrey, just couldn't wait to get out of there. Yes! I win! So they left, and I was the winner. The problem was, I couldn't get out because I couldn't find the door. It stinks to be blind.